about in February, I think, is when we finally um, found out about our possible future. Until then, my father thought perhaps he and my mother and my grandmother, because they're aliens, maybe uh, uh, sent somewhere else, but he never thought that his children, the citizens, would ever be incarcerated. So that was quite a shock. To, that was the shock. That, that was a shock. Included. Yes. So he felt sorry for us, but I felt sorry for my mother and father as well. You know, that they had to go through this. And we thought, well, we were we were young, we we're strong, we can bear it somehow. But uh, for my father and mother, after they worked so hard, I I really felt sorry for them. Uh, how did your family prepare for the forced removal that? <laughs> I don't know how they did it, but uh, like everybody else, we could only take what we could carry. Fortunately, we were all healthy, and we didn't have any special needs, so we were able to carry our what we thought we needed, which included bedding, eating utensils, and of course our clothing and any other things we needed um, that was essential. But um, I think uh, what my mother and father did uh, was very smart in that we had some late model cars, and I remember them saying, well, we need these cars when we get back, so let's store them. I thought, store them? What are they going to do? Well, they took the tires off, drained all the oil out of the cars, motors, so when they came back and uh, they restarted the cars again, and went downtown shopping with a car that's in good shape with good tires. The people downtown were jealous that we had such good tires on the cars. 